Hi everybody, Angie here, coming on to do Marguerite Miller's weekly collage challenge with you guys. Um, I've got my items kind of combined here. We are on week 17, hashtag 2022CWP17. We'll go through the prompts, I'll show you what I've got, and we will get started. Something round, something round, I'm not sure what I'm going to use, but... Um, I'm going to pull a couple things out of my antiquarian sticker book. A piece of a map. I've got that here. I've got a little piece of a digital map here. A shoe. I'm gonna, I know there's some stickers of some shoes in here. I'll get something out of there. A tool your grandparents would have used. I've got an old style telephone there. We'll use that. A postal item. I've got a digital of a postcard here. We'll use that. And one of those elements torn apart. Okay. And then I've got some extra elements to put the page together. And um, I'm going to try to keep your fingers crossed. Everything comes, uh, comes out well. I'm going to try and go with like a cooking kind of a theme today. Um, so yeah, let's get ahead and get started with that. Um, okay, <clears throat> I'm getting a full page here. Oh, there we go. All right. <clears throat> so let me see something round and a shoe, and I have a page marked here. Okay. See, I know I had. I knew there was a shoe in there. So there's a red shoe, and um, anyway. Um, I got on a red theme and then I kind of got on a cooking theme and hopefully everything will tie in well. So I'm going to use this red shoe. So I'll pull it off and stick it right there. And then I had a couple other things. Oh, something round. And that has red in it as well. And it also has the dove is carrying a letter. So that kind of also ties in with the a postal item. So that'll be an additional piece for that was my thought there. Something round, da 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 da, postal item. Okay, so I think that's it. So that's all I need that book for. So we can remove that out of our way. Okay, we are set. Now, the bigger pieces were kind of like for background. Um, so we've got this, and I don't really care for that half of it, so I'm just gonna remove that, and I just wanted it for this part. But we also have that sticker as well. But um, I just kind of want like this half, just so we get the postmark and the, the stamp side. I don't really care for that part. Okay, so we'll use that. And we need a map and we need this. And this is just for background, but it's a um, digital of a menu. Since I'm going with a cooking type theme page, I thought that was kind of appropriate. Um, so let's see, these are our big, and one of these, these are the two biggest pieces. So one of these have to be torn apart, even though this one's torn. I guess that could be my torn piece also, couldn't it? Um, I think I wanna keep this intact since that's my theme. I think I wanna keep this one whole. So we'll tear this one. Even though this one's already torn, we'll tear this one. And I'm going to just, since it's fairly large, we'll just kind of tear it right down, kind of diagonal down the middle. Something like that. And I've got some black in here. We will distress with black ink this time. I know I always use... Vintage photo, just do a little something different. See how it looks. We are on a whim today. Have some fun, do something different. Okay, and I don't know what part of this will stick out and show, so we'll do a little light inking around this. Don't know where the placement is going to be. Okay, 
All right, so those are our main pages, pieces. So since that's torn, I guess this is gonna go in one corner and this will go in another corner. And maybe this can go this way. I think we may have to bring it in a bit though. Let's see. Um, I think I might have to get some more paper to fill the background. I don't think that's going to be quite enough. So let me grab a piece of book page. Because that's not going to fill that background up. And I think one piece will do it. edges okay and we'll just put that into two pieces and we'll just put one here let's see how that's gonna look one something like that Doesn't have to go all the way to the edges either, I guess, does it? If I don't want it to. But I don't want any holes either. I want all the pages, papers connecting. Trying to get my placement the way I like it. Second. And I think I can live with that. And there's a little hole there, but we'll make sure we cover that up. Okay. I'm gonna hold that in place and I'm gonna start gluing it down. Get it all as one. Oops. So that's what I don't want is it starts shifting on me. Bring that up a little. In the last few weeks, I have been forgetting to leave myself a pocket. So let's see if I can try to make sure I leave myself a pocket for my... We can do it right there. Okay, let's get this down.
Make sure I get everything secured here. Okay, and then move this portion open. Just about that much of it. Okay, I like that. Gotta get this in there, don't we? Or we can use we could use just a portion of it. It says one piece torn apart. Well, I've got several torn, so that works out well. Okay. Now I have this chef lady, I got it out of a magazine, um, a cooking magazine. She looks like a chef, looks like she's got um, chef gear on. And if she was, the, I can't remember, the page had some cooking and a recipe or something on it. So I thought I would use her kind of as a focal point. She's the chef. And then I just kind of go around with um, some other bits. Let's see. So for something round, let's see, we need this. We got the piece of map shoe. I put these on my fingertips. And since she's the chef, I th fussy cut out a couple recipes, just random recipes. Do not ask me what that is. I have no idea. We got a nice, good looking pie there. Could be peach or apple. Um, a tool your grandparents use. I got a phone here. Maybe she's running her business and her phone is ringing off the hook. So she's got her phone there. Um, and then just some other kitchen gadgets. I've got silverware. I've got a little baked good there. I've got some bread. So let's see. Okay. What are we going to do here? Oh, and I've got this little ruffle here. I thought maybe we could somehow, for some reason, I, my brain said to grab that. So maybe we can incorporate that in somewhere. Maybe just like that. It's not too bad. A little bit long, though. Let's shorten that just a bit. Yeah, I think I like something like yeah, something like that, I think. Okay. 
Okay. Let's do that. I'll tell you, for some reason, I haven't been having a very steady hand, so helps if I just leave my paper on the desk and do it this way a little bit easier. Right about there. You can still see a little bit of the menu. You can still see a little bit of the postage piece. And we'll put that there. Just for a little texture, I guess. I love the fact that she's cooking or she's a chef or whatever, but she still has her jewelry on. She's got her beautiful necklace and earrings. I love that. Looks very sharp. Okay, so let's go ahead and put, well, this is the next biggest piece. We'll go ahead and put that down in the corner here. Okay. Shoe, I don't know why there's a shoe in here, but we're just gonna go ahead and tuck that right down there. And then just to bring in a little bit more red. I got a red rolling pin and there's a little strawberry here, yeah. Let's see. Oh, and this little thing that says cookbook. Let's go ahead and use that. I didn't get that glued down very well, did I? Oh, that's a sticker. It's stickers. Not a very adhesive sticker. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and use this little cookbook cover. Okay. And this little word element that says yum. I'm sure she can cook up a storm. We'll put that right over the pie. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and cut out. Oh, we've got to put the phone. And I thought this was a sticker, but it's not. It's just a light chipboard piece. Okay. She's just a little Miss Entrepreneur running her own business, cooking up a storm. The phone's ringing off the hook. Okay, there's that. I don't know 
know, for some reason I don't want to waste this little piece. <laughs> Let's just stick that somewhere. Okay. Um. I don't think we really need those. Let's see. Can I fussy cut those real quick? Let's see. Silverware, we put those over by the pie. Kind of a little delicate piece here. Good enough. And a spoon. There was a lot more. There was a plate and a lot of more kitchen gadgets, but I just figured that was just too much fussy cutting for me. So I just grabbed a few elements. Okay. And we can... These right here. Well, I don't know how good it was, the page, but I tried. This one kind of had me, I don't know, for some reason. The shoe and the map and Postal, I don't know. Kind of threw me for a loop there for a minute, but we got it. Let's see. Got the bread here. There's a platter here and a rolling pin. Should I cut out the platter and put the bread on the platter? Bread on the platter. And we got this little dessert piece here. Oh well, let's see. Can I pull that up? 
Uh, I want to put this on there. And then maybe the bread kind of behind it. Since it's kind of smaller, kind of something like that. How about that? Okay. And then I don't think we need the rolling pin. I don't feel like fussy cutting it. <laughs> okay. We got the little strawberry. I'm only cutting it out because it's red. I just want to make sure there's enough red in the page. Set it right on top of the, let's set it over there with the, with the treats. Put it over here. Okay. We've got the pepper grinder. And I'm not fussy cutting it as well as I would usually. I'm just doing a quick, quick cut. Oh, we got one right there though, don't we? So do we need this one? Not really. Okay. Well, let's take a look. I don't know. Well, it's full. The page is definitely full. Okay, now I need to grab a tab, and well, let's see, we can use one of these for a tab pull. Why not? Uh, I'll just get a regular one. And since we're using book page, I'll grab a book page one. Okay. Put it. I guess it's in the middle is fine. We know what the hashtag is. We're far enough into the year. We know what the hashtag is, don't we? Oh, should I have done it this way? I should have. Okay. I got time. I'll do another one. I'll do another one. Snip that off. And put it there. And it fits in nicely. Okay. All right, let's clean up mess here, put the lid on my pen and my glue, get all the mess out of the way for you guys, and we will run through it, and we will call this a wrap, for better or worse, 
Okay, we've got our chef, our Miss Entrepreneur here running her biz, her cooking business. She's got her phone ringing off the hook. She's got mail coming in like you would not believe, orders upon orders upon orders. She's got all her pots going at once. Something round that we've got there. Piece of a map that's torn apart in two places there. A shoe, a tool your grandparents would use. We've got the old vintage style phone. Okay, um, postal item, we've got a piece of a uh, postcard as well as this um, label here with the postage label here and then the elements torn apart. This was torn apart as well as the postcard was torn apart in multiple places. And then I've just got other bits and pieces for um, accent pieces, a lot of cooking piece elements, and that is it. Okay, all right, guys. Well, not too bad. Okay, that is it for this week, guys. Week 17. Done. Hope you like the collage. Thank you so very much for spending time with me today. You guys have a good week. Take care, and God bless. Bye-bye.